वेलकम टू माई चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल सो गाइज दिस इज अनदर क्लास फॉर दिनर्जी एग्जाम प्रिपेरेशन कोर्स सो टूडेज टॉपिक विल बी लाइफ सेविंग अप्लायसेज सो दिस टॉपिक इज वेरी मच इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर डेक कैरेट इंजन कैरेट एज वेल एज जी पी रेटिंग सो गाइज इफ इफ यू हैव नॉट सीन माई अनदर टू वीडियोज ऑफ सिनर्जी एग्जाम प्रिपेरेशन कोर्स प्लीज वॉच दैट वीडियो ऑल्सो यू विल गेट द लिंक ऑन माई आई बटन और ऑन माई डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स so guys before start this video if you have not subscribed my channel please subscribe my channel and guys if you want synergy exam previous question study materials for deck carried engine carried as well as cpt rating you will get those study materials from the links which is given on my description box please visit at first if we, i will tell about the lsa the first topic will come the life jacket in topic of life jacket you should know the color marking material and the light The color should be highly visible, orange or red, and the marking will be ship's name and port of registry, and the material means life jacket made up of inherent buoyant material, and the light white color for eight hours range one miles, and the luminous intensity is equal to or more than zero point seven five candelas, and continuous of flashing fifty to seventy per minute. Next, you should know is the carriage requirement for. carriage requirement of life jacket for cargo ships first it is 100% for all crew and the second 10% of total persons on board or total number of children on board whichever is greater and the third is sufficient number for watch keeper and remote spaces okay and the next you should know is the life jacket markings the the life jacket markings are the name of the ship port of registry and the third is adult children or infant adult means more than 32 kg weight and children equal to or less than 32 kg and the fourth is front side it will be written on the life jacket and the fifth is the manufacturer name or trademark and the sixth serial number and seventh manufacturing date these are the seven point the, uh, the these are the seven markings on of life jacket and then you should know the types of life jacket and this is this is the enough for the life jacket and next you should know about the thermal protective beds it's called tpa for tpa you must know that um, know this three things is that the thermal conductance of not more than 7800 watt per meter square kelvin and the possible to remove in water within 2 minutes and the function properly throughout the range of temperature range minus 30 degree celsius to plus 20 degree celsius this three points is must you should know all these three points and the carriage requirement for tpa two number of tpa or the 10 percentage of crew whichever is greater okay and then you should know the life uh, line throwing appliances or the lta this will be available on bridge and this will be not less than 4 projectile and each capable of carrying the line of minimum to 30 meter in calm weather you have to tell that minimum to 30 meter not only to 30 meter the minimum to 30 meter this minimum what is very important and its breaking st stress minimum 0 to kilo newton and the purpose of lta is to pass the line to any ship suppose nuc and towing purpose and for the life buoy you should know the outer diameter not more than 800 mm and the inner diameter not less than 400 mm and mass 2.4 to 4.8 kg limited and capable of float not less than 4 14.5 kg iron in fresh water for 24 hours and it will not burn or melt in fire for 2 seconds and grab line length minimum 4 into buoy outer diameter and rope diameter will be minimum 9.5 mm and next the carriage requirement for life buoy for now for only for synergy exam you should know the cargo ships but after your carriage ship you should know for the passenger ship as well as cargo ships so for the cargo ships the carriage requirement for life buoy are more than 100 100 meter it will be the 8 and then 100 to 
टू लेस देन वन फिफ्टी इट इज टेन एंड देन वन फिफ्टी टू लेस देन टू हंड्रेड मीटर इट्स ट्वेल्व एंड देन टू हंड्रेड मीटर और मोर देन टू हंड्रेड मीटर इट इज फोर्टीन एंड द एंड दिस थिंग्स यू शुड नो दैट लाइफ बॉय शुड नॉट लेस देन टू विथ सेल्फ एक्टिवेटेड स्मोक साइंस और एमओ बी मार्कर प्लेस्ड ऑन ब्रिज एंड नॉट लेस देन हाफ अ टोटल नंबर ऑफ लाइफ बॉय विथ सेल्फ इग्निशन लाइट एंड नॉट लेस देन टू विथ बॉइंट लाइफ लाइन एंड एट लीस्ट वन इन द स्टर्न एंड टोटल लाइफ बॉय इक्वली डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड ऑन ईच साइड ऑफ द शिप एंड लाइफ बॉय फिटेड विथ एमओ बी एमओ बी मार्कर should not be less than 4 kg weight its weight it should be more than 4 kg and the life boy with with self ignition light this will be not extinguished by the water and the color will be white and the continuous burning or flashing in uh, are 50 to 70 flashes per minute and the luminous intensity is 2 candela and the burning period of at least 2 hours and then life boy with self activating signals means for means it is for the amob marker so it will this will emit smoke of a highly visible color for minimum 15 minutes when floating in calm weather and not ignite explosively and emit smoke of minimum 10 second if fully submerged and not swamped in a coa and life boy fitted with amob marker Weight should not be less than four kg, and can throw from a height at least thirty meter. And then the life boy with buoyant lifeline, the diameter of the buoyant lifeline should not be less than eight millimeter. And the breaking strength not less than five kilo newton. It should be the non-kinking type. The mainly the types are the first you should know the life boy with self ignition light. The second. Life boy with self activating smoke signal. This is called the MOB MOB marker. And third is the life boy with buoyant life line. And next I will tell about the about the pyrotechnics. You should know what is pyrotechnics and what is the use of this. And the the number of pyrotechnics on each side life boat you should know on port side and on starboard side. It this will be the four rocket parachute flares. And the six red and red red hand flares and the two white smoke signal total twelve okay on each side uh, on both live board live board and on bridge there will be not less than twelve rocket parachute flares this will be provided on bridge and for rocket pla parachute flares you should know these three things that when fired vertically this will reach minimum three hundred meter. altitude and and its luminous intensity not less than 30000 candelas and the burning period of not less than 40 seconds and the uh, flare rate of descent not more than 5 meter per second the rate of descent matlab jis speed se wo girta hai niche and the night time visibility 25 nautical mile and the minimum four number of the number of rocket parachute flares in survival craft means on live boat now i will say for the hand flares the hand flares it is burned with bright red color and its luminous intensity not less than 15000 candelas and its burning period not less than 1 minute and continue to burn for 10 second under 100 mm of water and its night time visibility 12 nautical mile and day time visibility 2.5 nautical mile this is enough for the hand flares now i will say About buoyant smoke signal. So for the buoyant smoke signal, it is emit smoke of a highly visible color. And next, emit smoke of period of not less than three minutes, and continue to emit smoke of ten second under hundred hundred millimeter of water, and not to be swamped in a seaway. and daytime visibility 5 nautical mile okay and next i will tell about life raft it is made up of rubber coated material or nylon fabric material and canopy of highly visible color 
and it can be dropped into water from 18 meter height and it can be towed at 3 knot speed in calm weather in loaded condition and there will be a two buoyancy chamber each capable to carry full load and the total mass of life raft container and equipment not more than 185 kg okay now i will tell about the life raft light it's outside light the the color of the light should be white and the duration will be minimum 12 hours and the power not less than 4.3 candela all over and flash minimum 50 to 70 per minute and the inside light this will be a manual light the outside and inside both are manual light the color the inside color will be the white and it is the same the minimum time period should be 12 hour and then I will tell about the life raft painter it is very important life raft painter the life the length of the painter should be equal to 10 meter plus length from stored position to water line or 15 meter whichever is greater and the braking stress minimum 7.5 kN newton generally and for 9 to 9 to 25 percent minimum 10 kN newton And then you should know the the life raft markings. What are markings you will get on the life raft, and what are the information you will get on the container of the life raft? Okay, so the life raft markings will be serial number, name of the manufacturer, name of the approving authority, and the manning capacity, and the name and place of last servicing. And the information which you will get on the container of the life raft, this will be serial number, manufacturer name, carrying capacity, and the name of the approving authority, the type of emergency package, the length of the painter, and the launching instructions, and the permitted dropping height, and the last service date, and the next due service date, and the last solar pack A, B, or C, whichever it will be. And then you should know the life raft equipment. This you please read from the book. This is very important for your orals or sorry interview. Okay. And you should know the difference between solar pack A and the solar pack B. What all equipment you will get on the solar pack A and the solar pack B. Okay. There are there are some difference. You should know these things also. And then you should know the life raft launching procedures. Okay. The manual launching and the automatic or HRU and the day feed of Derek, Derek launching. You should know the procedure for all these three, three process. And then you should know the drill, the intervals for the drills, for each drills. This you will get on the book. Please read these things also. And then you should know the markings of live board marking and the rescue board marking. And you should know that the difference between live port and the rescue port. This is very important. Okay. So guys, अगर आप ये अभी मैं आपको जो भी points बोला, अगर आप इसको अगर पढ़ लेंगे life saving avalanche topic में, तो I think this is the enough for synergy exam preparation. So guys, I hope आपको ये video अच्छा लगा होगा. अगर आपको ये video अच्छा लगे, तो मेरे channel को subscribe जरूर कर दीजिए और video को like भी कर दीजिए और मेरे इस video link को आपके सारे दोस्तों के साथ भी share कर दीजिए. तो आज का video यही तक था. तो अभी चलते हैं, फिर मिलते हैं next video पे.